At Ancestories XR, we believe there is power in our ancestors' stories. That's why we're creating a narrative video game platform to let players experience our ancestors' world. Players can explore to unlock stories about the people, communities, and events that help shape their families and our country today. We free ourselves, me and my wife. A bunch of us ran to where we heard the Union Army was camped up a few miles up the river. The general there said we was contraband of war. That was before the emancipation was signed. After President Lincoln said black men could fight, I was mighty happy to wear this uniform and put an end to the misery of bondage, all of us that was held in it. Please visit AncestoriesXR.com to sign up and be among the first to experience American history through the eyes of the people who created it. Hi there. Did you like what you just saw? My name is Jose Tejeran, and I have been in charge of making this cinematic trailer for the Ancest Stories XR project. The Ancest Stories XR project is an interactive platform that uses extended reality gaming techniques to take you inside your ancestors' life and times. Visit AncestoriesXR.com to learn more about this project that is looking for funding. The first thing to do in a project of this kind is to have a clear objective and to develop a plan that allows us to be as efficient as possible. Once I had a storyboard ready and a defined character, I started with the creation of the Union Soldier. For this project, I used Character Creator 4, together with the Human Anatomy Pack and ZBrush to create and model the character. I also used iClone 8 together with Omniverse to render the project. Additionally, to make the clothes and objects in the scene, I used Maya together with Substance Painter. There are times when I prefer to take the model directly to ZBrush, I usually model by completely removing the perspective without losing sight of the polygons I am handling. Always remember that you are not drawing. When sculpting, you have to constantly check all of the angles of the model and the shadows that form on its face. Once finished, bringing it back to Character Creator is, again, a matter of a single click thanks to the Go Z button. I won't dwell on the texturing, although I can say that it is possible to take the character to Substance Painter to create or modify the textures. I can't comment on the modeling or texturing of the clothes and accessories I made for the character either. It is worth mentioning, however, that the new character creator, when configuring the character's clothes, offers the possibility of applying an animation for detecting faults and correcting them to avoid problems later on when we are animating the character. It is now also possible to test facial expressions within Character Creator 4 itself. I was able to check that the beard, consisting of several superimposed models with different types of hair, moved correctly when the character tilted his head or made facial gestures. It is also possible to modify and add facial expressions, but in this case no further adjustments were needed. Once inside iClone with the stage already set up, we can add the audio as a base for the rest of the animation to match the actor's performance with the movement of the character. After choosing the way I wanted to animate the lip sync, I made some adjustments to get the animation right. This is where a new tool called Digital Soul comes into play, which allows us to give a character that already has a lip sync animation some great acting. By simply adding one of the many animations available in the package, we can see that the character comes to life in a solid and realistic way with subtle, human-like movements. This is a great base to be able to work on top of the character, being able to apply a third manual animation to get the perfect and personalized performance we were looking for. For this, we can add facial movements with face key or with Face Puppet to animate in real time. In addition, of course, we can add a Digital Soul animation on top of the previous ones without a loss of quality. After defining the facial expressions, it is necessary to add an animation to the body to enhance the performance even when the camera shots don't capture the character completely. Fortunately, one of iClone's default animations works perfectly for this job and you only need to make a couple of adjustments with the Edit Motion Layer window to make it fit the scene. There is a moment in the default animation animation where the character changes posture and raises his hand. Matching these movements with a change in the voice acting makes the character move with intention and ends up making us believe that his acting is good. We can finish the work in iClone and export it to Omniverse where we will render the final ad. I don't have time to talk about how Omniverse works, but if you need an introduction to the program, I recommend you see the video 3D Render Engine for iClone on the Reillusion channel and subscribe to the channel. I'd like to stop for a moment to show you how I set up the lighting in Omniverse. 
It's a good idea to leave the scene lighting to Omniverse and check how the shot is lit with RTX Path Traced mode activated. Otherwise, the lighting can be unpredictable in the final render. You can see that there is a general light and then two more lights focused on the lighting of the face plus a panel that creates a soft shadow over the character. This also helps to bounce light off of the yellow cloth to the right to illuminate the other side of the character's face. Now that everything is ready, we just have to finish configuring the movie capture window and render it for as many hours as it takes, which in this case, rendering at 4K in RTX path traced with 60 subdivisions on my computer was more than 40 hours. That's all. Don't forget to subscribe to Ansa Stories XR Project newsletter on their website and subscribe to the Reillusion YouTube channel to see more videos like this one.